in this video we'll see how to use some of the very handy functions that are provided by Google Docs so let's say you have a small um, spreadsheet here that uh, details the total sales of books by category and region there are four categories fiction trade cookbooks and travel there are four regions north south east and west and I have some numbers here for the total sales in each of these categories and regions now if you want to find out the total sales in all the northern categories across all uh, the entire northern region across all categories then you can use the sum function okay, so sum within parenthesis click on the top you know the cell b7 and press shift and click on cell b9 and that will result in the entire b6 through b9 cells getting selected close parenthesis okay and you can also then drag this formula to the right okay so that way it will show up in all four of these uh, totals cells next let's say we want to find the average sales equals average within parenthesis click cell b6 shift click cell b9 close parenthesis and you can copy this to the right now let's say you want this to show up as dollars you can change the format by just clicking the format as currency button here and it'll change this to dollars if you wish to decrease the number of decimal places one way to do that is to click here and and just click on currency and that way you'll have currency without decimal places if you, find, if you want to find out the maximum sales you can say max within parenthesis again select and and min is equals min within parenthesis and and count is basically just four here because there are four records and we can just copy this to the right and I just want to change the format of this I press the B13 button and then shift click the E14 button and that selects this entire range B13 through C14 and all the cells in that range are selected and now I can go here and click this currency button here to add the appropriate currency format so that takes care of adding or making use of the various types of formulas that the spreadsheet provides for us next I'd like to show how to do the if function the if function is a very handy logical function what it can do is let you specify a condition and if that condition is true then one kind of value can be displayed and if that condition is false another kind of value can be displayed so let's say equals if the sales is greater than a17 then you want to say good if not bad okay and please notice that uh, b6 and a17 are the two cells involved and i'm having a greater than sign here followed by a comma followed by good within double quotes followed by a comma followed by bad within double quotes and then close parenthesis and of course all formulas begin with the equals sign so then immediately the spreadsheet calculates that the sales is uh, okay I just need to make one small modification here it's not B6 but it's the total sales if the total sales in the northern region so I want to say B11 here instead of B6 if the total sales is greater than 200,000 it's good if not it's bad now I want to be able to copy this to the right now before I copy this to the right I need to make sure that this cell reference is made absolute so I want to put a, a dollar sign before the a so that when I copy this formula to the right the a letter does not become B C and D so let me put that there and then drag this over here and there you can see that if the sales for a region is about two hundred thousand dollars then it is good if it is below two hundred thousand dollars then it's bad 
so that's how <coughs> you would make use of the if function in Excel in your spreadsheet Google Docs here now I would urge you to attempt the same thing here um, just find the totals for each of the categories instead of regions uh, total average max min count and if for the if you want to say that if the sales is uh, total sales is greater than 300,000 which is the cell K4 then it is good if not it is bad so that concludes this video thanks for watching